there are places in this world that are simply beautiful. Some make your jaw drop and some leave you mesmerized. Some leave you feeling absolutely insignificant, while others fill your heart with pure joy. And then there is Kasok. So, uh, you know, on every adventure of ours, every long trip of ours, Bhati and I usually uh, keep one little part, which is, uh, you know, where we pamper ourselves and uh, keep it very luxurious. <clears throat> this episode is going to be pretty much that, but with an edge, man. This is our kind of luxury. Luxury with nature. Like, this place is definitely... Um, one of the most stunning places we've seen so far. I mean, it's so out of uh, the you know radar of I think Indian tourists and even generally within Thailand, it's it's not it doesn't pop up everywhere. So at the moment, we are staying at this beautiful floating hotel uh, called Panvari, the Greenery Resort, and it's located inside uh, this lake called Chu Larn Lake. Um, and it's a part of the entire Khao Sok National Park, which is almost about 500 square kilometers. It's this beautiful man-made reservoir, uh, which is surrounded by like limestone cliffs everywhere. Ah, oh, it's just so, so nice. But as soon as we got in the room, man, there was only one thing I wanted to do. Shut up! sun it keeps coming in and going out because of the clouds and it keeps casting like different shadows on the mountains and the color of the water keeps changing from blue to green to light blue to turquoise oh it's so beautiful man out here if i have to bring it down to like one word it would be like it feels like being in jurassic park <laughs> two words but you get the point i was the most excited about coming here hmm. Like the most excited about coming to this place. Like, no, I can see why. And then when these guys agreed to host us, that was just like a cherry on top of the cake. Like. Oh. <laughs> One moment, nice and sunny, and second, it's like heavy monsoon, Bombay style. That's Thailand wet season for you. But people are not having it, they're still in the water, <laughs> having fun. <laughs> and those two kids, they've been at it, man for like the past four hours now. I know, I'm so envious of them because they're just like free and fearless. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that there's no internet, like there is internet, but not in the rooms to go there. And there's no electricity all day long. It only comes at five o'clock. Yeah. It gives you so much time to be together. And even the family at the back, they've been having so much fun. Like just 
Yeah, because you're disconnected, Connected, right? So yeah. you can reconnect with where you belong, yeah. right? What a place to do it, Bharti. What a place. This is... This is... Like a dream. This is like a dream. That's, that's the word. This is like a dream. <laughs> okay, guys, it is dinner time at Panvari and uh, I have to say, man, it looks amazing again. Uh, we have some fish with some chili sauce, uh, fried fish, and then we have some chicken and cashew nut. Uh, we also have our favorite morning glory, uh, some chicken soup with tons of veggies in it and some rice. Feast on. Today, like, there was no agenda. No agenda. It was just sit back, relax, and soak it all in all day long. Like, and it was much needed. I think it was really much needed to just like unwind, I think. Absolutely. You know? I saw new colors in your eyes. A world so vibrant and alive. Like fireflies in late July. You crashed into me ever bright. So this morning we woke up really early at like 5, 5.30 and came out for a boat ride uh, to watch the sunrise. And it is just divine. Like I feel lucky to be able to experience this. It's a privilege to be alive, man. It's crazy. You are my Absolutely magical. Like, I know we keep saying that for everything, but it was. It was just like paintings. It was like moving in a painting. It was so gorgeous. But uh, yeah, so for today, it's our second day. And uh, these guys have a bunch of fun activities planned out for us. Right now, we're going on a hike. Uh, don't really know what's in store for us, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely awesome. So now we be hiking, and I mean proper hiking, through the jungles hiking. of a real national park. Like legit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My shoes are not equipped for the kitchen. Oh shit. Okay. I miss my green hiking shoes. So I don't know. That's elephant poo. That's gotta be elephant poo. Oh no. More elephant poo. Oh, it's no. elephant poo, right? So ungraceful. Those are gibbons. <laughs> I hope we get to see them. <laughs> oh, there, 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 there. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, I missed oh, there, another one jumped. Another one jumped. Another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's two, three. It's hard to see, but and it's not in the case, so... Yeah, but that's better. I can't go to zoos. It breaks my heart yeah. to go to a zoo. So I was reading on the internet, uh, these forests around Khavsok are basically some of the oldest evergreen rainforests in the world. Supposedly even older than the Amazon rainforest, which just blew my mind. <laughs> anyway, now the hiking part is done and we are going to climb onto those really cool looking bamboo rafts and go for a little ride down the river. <laughs> I 
like I'm on some wild jungle exploration right now. <laughs> Expedition type, like. Ready and bear the frosty with me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are so much better than those gas lanterns yeah. up at Namlot. The force is with us, don't worry. Yes, the force is with us. Oh, dude. It's like a human has. That right? does look like a human. <coughs> it also looks like a cauliflower. Oh. <laughs> Mushrooms and corals, like. Can you see pizza tower? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Stack it of like teeth. many many elephants. Or it just yeah, it does look like many elephants as well. You can see it shining. Right? It yeah, like it's like sparkling glitter. little glitters. Every cave we've been in Thailand, we're like, that's big, that's big. <laughs> These must be so old, but like, cause it takes so long for them to grow. Yes, right? yes. One year they can grow up just only three millimeters. Three millimeters. Yes. <laughs> in one year. <laughs> The color is look white, right? Mm. But yeah. this one is turned brown because mm. it has been touched by the human. Mm. Yeah, and the sweat is make it die. That I told you. Okay, okay. Uh, and the light can see too, like this. I can show you. This. Oh. It's becoming thin. Mm -hmm. But not this yeah. one. See? Yeah, that one's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only that. Just, just this one. one. Yeah. Just no, because people one. have been touching it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because you think of them not as alive, mm -hmm. yeah. but they are. <laughs> That was very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving these cave adventures of ours, Ron. The best like, part is we don't know where we're going next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now again, we don't know where we're going. I wanna see a brand new country, one I ain't never seen before. Head out west toward milk and we are now on officially the tiniest island that we've been on. <laughs> this island is called Tunlat. Alright everyone, good morning. It's our last day out here in Panguri Greenery in Khausok National Park. Sadly, we have to leave today. But what an experience, what, an, what a holistic experience it's been. Like it's been luxury, but our style of luxury. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> big, big shout out to Panguri the Greenery for yes. like hosting us this weekend. Like they've made us feel so special. Like 10 on 10 for everything set setting, service, food, like just every single thing, 10 on 10. <laughs> for sure. And this is such a great place for you to include in your, you know, Thailand adventure, I feel. In fact, it should be the number one place, I would oh, say. Um, you know, for your family, you can come with your, you know, on your honeymoon, you know, this is, it's got a sense of um, exclusivity and privacy. And of course, the place is gorgeous, which you don't get anywhere else. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta leave now and uh, there's only one thing left to do. Mm -hmm. 